All right, what's going on, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some modern. Uh, I know you guys have been getting a ton of vintage cube drafts on uh, on YouTube from me, but uh, today we're going to go back to our roots and play some modern. This should go up on Monday tomorrow, or I guess today if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, so feel free to give me a like or a subscribe if either one of those things tickle your fancy. But we're looking at this uh, mono blue living end deck. And uh, the only black cards are Living End and Street Wraith, which we're not actually going to be casting. So I guess you can cast an Architects of Will off of your Dark Slick Shores or your Bajuka Bog or your Sunken Ruins, but it doesn't seem very likely. And um, yeah, so our Cyclers are going to be Curator curator of Mysteries, Striped River Winder, uh, where's the Architects of Will and Street Wraiths. And we also have Ancestral Vision and Living End to cast them off of As Foretold, which is really our our key combo piece here but uh yeah let's uh let's get to it see how it goes it's been a while since i played modern it's probably been like a month and a half since i played some modern This is why we wait in the queue for five minutes. Fortunately, can't uh, edit these out when they're when they're live. <laughs> well, I'll just cut right past this part. Uh, apparently we can't cut this out right now. I mean, the format's really open always. That's just modern. I mean, I feel like that's always just modern, you know. What's a five mana two two? Oh, we did it. Whoop. I will play first. All right. Oh, Discord. Nice. All right, I think we're just going to suspend this bad boy. This hand looks immensely keepable. Cycle, cycle, suspend. And we got a sweet remand. That's the world I want to live in. Remand world. Boop. So the thing is, like, the earliest we can ever cast in As Foretold is turn three. Um, And that's if we draw it. So by suspending this now... I believe we'll get it on turn five. On turn two, it goes to three counters. Turn four goes to two counters. Or turn two, it goes to three counters. Turn three goes to four counters or two counters. I don't, I don't, I'm, I can't. This math is too hard. Oh God. <clears throat> two equals three. Three equals two. Four equals one. So it comes off on turn five. Sure. That'll, that'll do. Yes, a 5-mana 3-4 is uh, is much more... Oh, that's interesting. You can either take Remand or Living End. I imagine I'll take the Remand, because that's a good card. You took the Living End? Okay. I accept. Oh, hoo -hoo. um, we don't have to cycle this guy now. We have a land. I was trying to hit a blue land so that we can cycle them both, but I think it's just better to keep up a land and uh, potentially cycle this guy at the end of the turn. You got it. I feel like it's... Are, are we just playing against... Are we, what is, what's going on here? Oh, I see. So this guy's a 1-1? One, one? Okay. You got it. Hmm, okay. Okay. 
So now... <clears throat> Do we just play As Foretold here? I think it's just As Foretold. Yeah, we want to start getting counters on this. Yeah, both Street Wraith and uh, Simeon Spirit Guide are not ideal to cast. You are correct. Look at this guy. He's a 2-2 and then he's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Good lord. We're basically dead. Arm of Gizzle. <clears throat> so if we hit another living end, we're in really good shape, right? So we just have to survive until next turn, I think. That was a good one. We can actually just cast Curator of Mysteries. I guess they would just kill it though, right? I guess we have two counter spells. I don't know. This, uh, surprisingly, looking down a Tarmogoyf and a Death Shadow does not feel ideal. Also, as an instant, we're going to pump his Tarmogoyf. Hmm. I'm just going to counter this twice. Then they have one mana to play with if they want to do it again. Uh, we'll take eight. And then we get the Ancestral Vision, which is great. Yep. Why wouldn't you play this pre-combat so that if it resolves, you take another two and deal us another two? That's what I don't understand. My confusion is, is sizable. <clears throat> Alrighty. Target target myself. Draw a living end one time. It was not a twas not a living end, ladies and gentlemen. We can play search for free. And we're likely just gonna be tapping down their people. And we're going to be playing this as a land. Hmm. Would love to get these... Uh, I guess, like, if we draw a living end, we can just actually cycle, cycle, cycle. And, uh... Cast living end that turn. They're also playing Grixis, some or not Grixis, but um Soul Ties. So I'm really hoping they don't have a counter here. They probably do. They did not. And we get a free remand. Oh my goodness. As foretold is so good, dude. Ooh. Ooh, so good. I mean, they're going to pull that one 100%, but... Like, we get to look at one, two, three, our draw for the turn, which is four, and we also get to put a card in the graveyard, which is... So we get to look at five cards. So that's actually pretty good. I don't know what the card is. Tolary West? Put Tolary West, yes. Um, 
Interestingly enough, this also lets us hit. Yeah, let's actually flip that. So, one, two, three. I guess we'll grab Living End here. Oof. All right, feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty insane. I wonder how this deck deals with something like Surgical Extraction or like... We won that game. Alrighty then. Don't really care about their graveyard. I mean, I think Engineer Explosives is probably one of the only cards I really want to bring in here. Take out a Remand for Explosives. Take out a... I feel like that's the only thing I really want to take out here. <clears throat> well, this hand's a little sketchy, but it's got a lot of things we can do so I don't think crypt is worth it just to bring in Leovold to the two month sub thank you so much man really appreciate it I don't think crypt is worth bringing in just to make them spend more for a Tassiger like you also have to time it perfectly you have to actually like they they could actually I mean if they're a good player they're going to hold all their, their fetch lands crack them all in one turn and then play Tassiger that turn because it's just the right thing to do I don't think the uh, the benefit of playing Crypt just to make their Tassiger cheaper is any good. Like, that's it's not a card I want to draw. So long, Remand. I hardly knew you. Got there at 15 already. Unbelievable. Yep, that is a 3-4. Soon to be a four five. Yeah, that's hard to deal with this early. Can I make it a five five if we cycle architects of will? That's just sad. Tom to Tom Tom and Willie Tanner. What's going on, guys? It's a New Year's miracle. Yep, we'll take four and then we'll pump that dude up to a five after. Uh... Oh my god. So we take 10 next turn. I really don't think we have a way to win unless we draw, like, literally as foretold, living end in the next three cards.
Yep, use the blue that I put in the mana pool. All right, well. Why don't we play Dark Slick Shores? I don't know. Forgot. Didn't see it there. All right, we'll just pretend that's uh, not the worst play I made. <clears throat> We're just going to grab Living End and assume that we can draw. So next turn we take 10, but then we have a Cryptic Command, so that's pretty good. Yeah, this was bad. Take 10. Unless you're somehow dealing three more to six more to us. Collective Brutality, sure. So, go to four. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I, I can't answer any modern questions. I haven't played modern in like a month and a half. So, I have no idea like what's good. So long, living end. <laughs> well, that's cool. I don't think we're going to suspend that because we don't really have much time to do it. So, instead we'll play Sunky Ruins. Hmm, <laughs> tap your guys down. Abzan Midrange is just good anytime. Like, there's never really a time where you're like, man, Abzan Midrange is just terrible in this metagame. Like, it's just a good deck. Um, tap and draw. Try not to die. Negate. All right, well, you got it. Cool. We would have drawn Riverwinder, Remand for the turn, Cycle Riverwinder, hit Serum Visions. Serum Visions we would draw, Ancestral. Okay, so nothing nothing good happening there. Uh, yeah, still think it's fine. Yes, I will play first. Yeah, this hand seems actu actually fantastic. All right, every game. Well, except for last game. Every other game. I'll take two. I will thought seize you. Nihil spell bomb. That's a good one. That makes me sad about our life choices. <laughs> I like both of these, but I don't think we can afford to play a Cryptic Command here. The nice thing about this Spell Bomb is that it only hits once, so... We can actually keep both of these. And then just, like, cycle two things, like cycle a Riverwinder and, like, an Artex or a Street Wraith. And then just wait for them to do... Like, if they don't do anything, we still got a 5-6 and a 3-4, so... Where my as foretolds at? Okay. Take three. No, oh, we got a goif there, lady. All right, we're just gonna cycle this guy. Draw the other one. Next turn, we get to draw a million. That seems pretty okay. <coughs> They don't actually have any black mana, and we do have cryptic or blue mana, and we do have cryptic command here. They also missed a land drop. It's pretty okay with me. Just keeping cryptic command up. So 
So next time we get to draw four cards, plus Street Wraith is like five cards. If we Cryptic Command bounce something, it's six cards. That's a lot of things. We can also cycle Street Wraith to draw seven cards. And we have to wonder, should we bounce the Spell Bomb? Because if we draw Living End and As Foretold in those seven cards, could be very good. Yeah, we're countering that and bouncing... Actually, we can't bounce here, because then they would just replay it, so that's sad. And they just take it if we don't if we don't counter it, so. I will choose myself. As foretold, I mean, like, you have, like, lands like this, you can suspend it, but yeah, it's the only way to, like, cast it. So we hit neither as foretold nor living end here. Unfortunate days. Oh, uh, you cannot transmute the Teleria West into an as foretold. As foretold costs three mana. That does not work the way you think it works. I just feel like modern is not a format where you have the time to suspend living end. Like you never, you're never like, here you go in four turns, all your guys die. Well, I'll just kill you in four turns. So, oh, well, they finally got their blue mana, and it's a, it's extremely relevant to them because they're playing it untapped. So. Yep, 1,000% have Stubborn Denial in hand. Oh, that's awkward. Go to one. Yeah, not feeling good, especially because we can't cycle these street raids. <clears throat> comes a death shadow oh my god so bad yeah I'm pretty sure there's no way we're winning this game unfortunately all right yeah I mean they have Nihil spell bomb they just exile our graveyard and we go to yeah we can't deal with creatures that's really tough could have brought in the second engineered explosives, but it's hard when like this a deck like this you need all the pieces you can get.
Oh, alright, and our opponent didn't show up. Oh, well, maybe this one will. Alright. Hey, we did it. Oh, my opponent is also double queuing in the casual modern room. Okay. You too. So now we have Serum Visions or Architects on turn one. No way they don't go to 17 here. Bird of Paradise into a turn two. Either Blood Moon or... Oh, I guess it's just like Balakut. Escape shift arena. I'd rather set things up. Let's see what happens. Um, don't care about you. Or you really I don't really want the street rates because once you're at 18 life, if they are playing scape shift, 18 life is the difference between uh six lands and seven lands needed to to valicate you out. Six lands deals eighteen damage. Uh seven lands deals like Exponentially more, but that's the sweet spot, so. As long as you're above 18. Yep. But Jukabog does nothing here. We could just remand this, which is kind of cute. All your time wasted. I mean, it makes sure it makes them have one land this turn instead of four, which is fine. Who saw that coming? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, did they just play Sakura Tribal there and kill us next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, because two Valakuts. you on the bottom we can put you on the top play a dark slick shores i don't have anything to do so i'm just going to search here and hope they don't kill us i guess i don't think they can famous last words i'm sure like they can get a land and then they can go scape shift and deal us 18 they have to sacrifice six mountains to get six mountains Yep, that's a good dude. <clears throat> Guess we take 12. Yep, cool deck. Sure. Uh, good times. <laughs> yep, literal blank dead to any mountain. All right, sounds good. Yeah, this deck seems not great. 
I don't actually understand how it went 5-0 in a league, but... I feel like that about a lot of modern decks. Like, I'll always see modern decks that go 5-0, and I'm just like, I have no idea how you did this. None of these, none of this, none of these sideboard cards are any, are any good. Lopadope, good to hear, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, none of these sideboard cards are great. Wow. I will play first. Just all this stuff can go on the bottom. Like, it just doesn't do anything for us. We, we're trying to hit, like, specific cards. We're literally trying to hit Living End and As Foretold. And, uh... uh I have no idea where Mike is. Cryptic command, eh? Ugh. I'll keep Shores on top because it's a reasonable card to get. Actually, yeah, I like cycling Street right there and um, grabbing the Shores and playing that for the turn. I think that was probably better because I'm also good to cycle one of these guys. <sighs> Sigh. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, it definitely makes you wonder if the five O's that you're seeing when deck like with decks like this are like maybe one of ten tries. And, um, like, as usual, this is the first time I've ever picked up the deck, so this is the second match I've ever played with Mono Blue Living End. Yep, all of this is fine. I do like that they tapped out here, which is nice, because if we draw the card that we want to draw, which is a Living End... That's not it. Why are you being like this? That's it, however. However. Okay, we get it. That's enough. I'd really like to get this striped river winder out of my hand, and if we had dark slick shores in play, I'd be a little a little more a little easier to do. We actually have to do it now though, otherwise they just crack a relic.
Better sack your little tribe. All right. Well, we're just going to assume this is fine. This guy still can't deal with a primeval titan, unfortunately. So. Get another one? Yep. Now you have perfect primeval titan mana. If that's what if that's what you're interested in. I'll get another mountain. I love mountains. They're my favorite land. What up, Fatal Roundhouse? Down at the Fatal Roundhouse. <sighs> Yay. Modern is a fun format, guys. I think I'm remembering why I haven't played Modern in a month and a half. Oh my god, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite land at all. Oh, cool, you did that thing that your deck is supposed to do? Oh, that's cool. I'll do the thing that my deck is supposed to do and just win when I have seven lands in play. Cool. Sweet format. If only I had a force of will to stop something like that. Or maybe like a, I don't know, a daze or, you know, some kind of free counter spell that doesn't automatically kill me like Pact of Negation. I think this hand is fine. I will keep. Oh, good. Mirror match. <laughs> Literal mirror match. And my opponent is 1-2. I'm playing Sarkon the Bat, who is 1-2. So it makes sense. I guess this is a, a two-loss deck. Great. They are 1 2, though, so they do have a win on us. Yep, the literal mirror match. Actually amazing. How many things are you going to cycle? Oh, two. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Yeah, it's a two for one counter spell. Like, I don't actually understand why it's. Toted is like the best thing ever. It's very good. But, I mean, I think stronger cards have been printed. I mean, it can't counter Carnage Tyrant, so. <laughs> Cycle my bros. Cycle all them bros. As foretold, where you at?
I don't think it exists. I don't think there is an as foretold in our deck. That is sad. Well, we have four guys, and they have four guys, three guys. Now they have four guys. But we can put two more guys in the graveyard, so I think we win the battle, but... The problem is they can just go living end in response. Like, I, I have no desire to play this like su this living end sub game here. Where it's like, well, if you, I'll, I'll keep guys in my hand and then I'll let them go after the second thing. You know, it's just that's not... That's not a fun thing to play. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, they also have Cryptic Command mana now. That's uncool. Oh, I just have no desire to do this. It's gonna be so like I. There's not. They're not cycling anymore. Four. Four things is their limit. I put five in. One, two, three, four, five. What if I bounce one of their lands so they can't Cryptic Command? I have to assume they're playing the exact same list. Oh, you're going to remand it. No, you're just going to add a mana. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. God, I hate these lands so much. Oh my god. Just add the double blue for crying out loud. You got it. We do have a Bajuka Bog. We have one Bajuka Bog. I guess we can Teleri West for that. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that next turn, actually. That seems really good. I guess they can't remand that, right? Like, there's no way to... It's a lot of good dudes. Yep. Oh, interesting. Only one cycle, huh? We're keeping these guys because if we play Living End and then they play... Oh. <laughs> Alright, so now we can actually cycle these both. Yep. 
Seems good. All right. Well, good times. Uh, you still have to pay the mana cost for a living in. Like, you still just can't cast it. So there's no real... It doesn't really make sense to quicken it. Why are you asking me? Like, the blue. The blue that's in there. Use the blue that's in there, you idiot. God, Magic Online, you're so ridiculous. All right, let's see what happens. We have another living in, so that's good. I will choose you. Architects field. Let's put architects on the bottom, then ancestral, then field of field of ruin. Unfortunately, I don't think we can play ancestral vision on their turn. This is the complete opposite of a deck I would want to play. Yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that. Oh, so you go Quicken into uh, Living End with As Foretold Out on their turn? That's pretty interesting. See, I definitely don't think Team or Mirror matches are fun in Standard. That sounds miserable to me, but here we go. Sure. <laughs> no dudes. All dudes become no dudes. This does seem quite miserable. Try it again. You gonna remand this? Sure. All right. Yeah, I agree. The skill gap isn't large enough. Like, there's standard cards right now are at a point where, um, not yeah, but not being quite as dirtily does not make it more fun. Um, standard is at a point where like the card power level is so high that the variance in different like the card power level and like they don't do enough, right? Like, if there was a card that had three different choices on it, like a cryptic command type card. Um, despite how powerful it is, you still have a lot of choices to make at any given point. And making the wrong choice will cost you. Whereas, like, cards like Roller Virtuoso, oddly enough, are just so strong um, that, like, you can just make three guys attack with three guys, make three guys attack with three guys. Like, Like, modern, modern mirror matches are boring, but there's so many things to do. Like, I know I mess up a bunch, and it's because of my own, like... Look at this board. Like, these are the almost identical boards. Hmm. Hmm. Living end in your grave? No, we'll keep that. Hmm. Mm 
One, two, three. This guy. Oh, are they going to cryptic and then we're going to remand it? Do you have your fourth remand? <laughs> I don't, I have my doubts. Okay. Joke's on you, I had two cyclers in hand. <laughs> Sure. Three cyclers. Wow. What a sl what a oh four cyclers. What a sandbagger. So I like that they're going to look at my top and then I'm going to look at their top and my top. So I'll just replace them. Um, This is the order you put them in? So I can get Street Wraith and then Cryptic? Okay, I'll leave it like this actually. I guess they probably left them like that because it didn't matter. So, or they just showed showed them to me in a random order. Also possible. <laughs> you can feel it all over. Yeah, Stevie Wonder is a good dude. Oh, the old cryptic kill you. A classic. I had a remand. I could have remanded that. I'm so bad at this game. I forgot about the as for I was literally reading the chat where it was like, uh, this looks nothing like cube, and I was like, "Well, it's not cube because I'm modern." Let me hit OK, and then 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 we just go lose to. Uh... I have to assume. Do they play a land this turn? Yeah, they didn't play a land. I put two islands on the top, so they could actually just play. It didn't matter. Okay, good. Um. Oh, they put yeah, they put island in their graveyard, but their their top of their deck was island island as foretold, so there was still an island in their hand. Um. So they actually would they they had an island in hand. They could have just played island and then cryptic commanded again. So all right, I feel better about that then. Hmm. This mirror match seems absolutely miserable. No, oh, that seems brutal. I'm gonna take out these architects because I think they're just bad. Take out one remand, one. I will play first. 
This hand is absolutely miserable. Not much better, but... I guess we can just pass here. I don't know how good Living End is in Mirror. Like, I don't know if they want it. I don't know if I want it. I don't know who wants the Living End in this in this matchup. Wow. Um, we're going to cycle this dude. See if we can hit a land that comes into play. Whatever, Roberto. Street Wraith. I do not play League of Legends. Dark Slick Shores. Remand. Okay. Well, I'm playing this, unfortunately, because I do have to play something. So, ideally, they tap out for something. We remand it. Sure. So now we can as foretold in the living end and get three dudes back. That's pretty good. I want to vomit. What up, K-Ferd? Oh, look, you got an as foretold. <laughs> oh, Perry Macabre, get rid of my... Yeah, that's nice. I'm having a good time. How about you guys? Everybody having fun? Yep, I guess the person who draws the Swan Song Double Fairy Macabre hand is uh, definitely favored here. It definitely seems like the person who can draw four of their their sideboard cards wins. All right, I will be in the O3. And our, our opponent is 1-2, keep in mind. So we're both playing the same deck. He's 1-2, I'm 0-2. Now I'm 0-3 and they're 2-2, two -two, so. This this deck does not seem fun. I'm 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 gonna go on record and say right now it seems super cool. This is a deck that looks super cool on paper, and then like once you play it, it's actually it's just not fun having to navigate like when to cycle things, when it's safe to put cards in the graveyard. If your opponent has one piece of graveyard hate, like a like a like a recurring piece of graveyard hate or something that sits on the board, like a Nihil spell bomb or a um, relic of progenitus, it just becomes this miserable like game of chicken. And, um, it just, I, I, I personally don't find that fun. I mean, we are going to finish out this league, so we'll see what happens. I definitely don't have time to cube today, guys. I'm leaving. I have to leave in about an hour, or so get about another hour of of this league, and then we'll uh, give some thoughts. 
All right. All right, this hand looks reasonable, whatever that means. Oh, 3-2 versus Dank Cookies 84 in the O2 bracket. I will keep this hand. All right. I mean, I'm the O3 guy. I don't know how I'm dream crushing the O2 guy. Especially considering, like, we're not even close to... Like, this hand is absolutely miserable for this deck, I think. You just have no cyclers. Two living ends in your hand. But, I mean, we have things to do. We have remands and search for Escantas, so it's like I'm not going to mulligan this, but... Oh, it's a friendly league, so if you go 0-1, you still get, like, 40 play points, I believe. Or 1-0, rather. 1-4, whatever. They, whatever, whatever what do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you still get 20. So, and you get 10 if you if you go 0. So. Yeah, I have no desire to play competitive leagues with this deck. Like the the prize payouts are not even as the prize payouts are actually worse in the competitive league than the friendly league. And I'm not going to pick up a deck that I've never played for the first for the very first time and then play in the competitive league. It just doesn't make sense for me. Yeah, you get, you get your particip participation trophy. Oh, a, tr a third living end. Fantastic. And we're playing against Storm, it looks like. So, that's cool. Super bad. Yep. It's called Trial by Misery is what it's called. I have no desire to do that. Um... Yeah, we'll put Serum Visions. We're trying to land. So if Serum Visions is going to draw us a land, if the land is a top card. Hey, we found a, we found a creature to cycle. Good for us. This triple living end draw will pay for itself eventually. Should have actually pumped two blue into this in case we drew another cycler, but that's not really how our day is going. So put as foretold in the graveyard. The problem is we're not going to play it. I think we actually have to do that. Yeah, we needed that fourth land actually. Because now we can cryptic command, we can double remand. Like as foretold right now doesn't do anything for us. We need more guys in the graveyard before as foretold does anything. And we can suspend living end if we wanted to. Yeah, I don't know if there's any minor tips or tricks for winning control mirrors that I can just give you on the fly like that. That's pretty that's pretty vague. That's pretty broad, rather. That is a that is a very broad subject. What is going on here? Is our opponent trying to like storm out over multiple turns? They've drawn three Serum Visions, two Ops, and two Sleight of Hands. This guy is probably not okay. I'll just play it again. Well, you're welcome to do that. And I'll just bounce him again. Yeah, it's like Singular Minutes back in the day. Remember they roll over? Get that rollover storm count. Yes, put Living End in the graveyard, crying out loud. Please, never come back. Oh, 
sure, that's fine. Manamorphose. Oh, ritual, eh? What do you do? Counter it and draw a card, or counter it and bounce the barrel? Counter and bounce. Crypto Command's a hell of a drug. <laughs> sure, op number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've drawn eight of 12 of these cards. That's a lot. Yeah, I think controlling harder is a good strategy. If you want to win the control mirror, you control harder. Yes, put Teleri West. Yes, transform you. Cryptic Command again, huh? As foretold, so we can go one, two, three. Yeah, let's do this. Cycle Curator. I guess we could wait a turn, too. Yeah, we'd have to, right? We can Because we'd go Curator. Oh, we have an extra land, though. Yeah, this is actually good. Let's do this. I always forget the Ascanta is an actual land. All right. I would love to have four more power on board, but such is life. Here we go. Oh, boy. So we did our cool combo thing, and we're just going to watch a deck do their cool combo thing better, I think. That's my assessment here yep gifts ungiven or what are you gonna put past in flames in my hand or in my graveyard probably your graveyard oh grape shot eh so I guess you already have past in flames in your hand Graveyard. Graveyard. Who boy. There it is. There it is. Ritual. Morphos, morphos, ritual. I mean, they have to do... It's what... 12 more spells? Can they do 12 more spells? The answer is probably. Our opponent's also 0 2 right now, which is kind of funny, right? This might be the most unsuccessful league I've ever played in. But at this point, it's just a meme, so I don't even care. It's just funny. Yep. I mean, alternatively, maybe they just want to kill my curator of mysteries because those guys are pretty threatening. Uh, the new Angreth that was spoiled today was pretty sweet. I think that guy's great. Um, I like the make them discard the, the make them disc the five mana one is just strictly better than the Liliana one right like make them discard and they lose two life uh, the stealing their guy and killing it is also very good like any creature so you can steal their world of virtuoso their rogue refiner you get to attack with it and it just dies also awesome and it, it does if I recall let's see what the ultimate does I believe that the ultimate is still winning the game 
Uh, they lose life equal to the number of cards in their graveyard. Yeah, that's usually going to kill them. So, I wish the um, the negative ability was negative two and not negative three, so you could use it twice before he dies. Um, I also feel like starting at four and going to five, like negative eight is high. Like that's going to be harder to to come by. Yep. All right. Can we just let's just let's just do it. There you go. Okay, Nimble Obstructionist, bring you in. <laughs> I don't actually care about Remand in this matchup. It seems pretty bad. All right, we'll try it like this with a bunch of bunch of sideboard storm tweaks. I hate to see you this unhappy with the deck. Don't stay with it because of us. Well, I'm staying with it because these videos are going up on YouTube, so I don't want to actually... I want to have a video to actually post, whereas if I just quit in the middle of it, that's not really effective. Meanwhile, this hand is pretty rough, but we do have a Street Wraith, and we do have a land. I'll keep it. I'm going to live the gamble life. No gamble, no future. That's what I always say. No, not cast. Cycle, you dummy. Oh, look, we got an ass foretold. That'll be good one day. One day. If we get a land, if we get a land here that we can actually use, I think we're in good shape. Good shape. The problem with decks like this, and uh, this is where you're gonna, this is where you're gonna, I'm just gonna break off some truth for you, is that you have to have so many pieces. Oh my God, you have to be absolutely kidding me. You have so many pieces that you need. Like, you need a certain number of cycling creatures. You need living ends and as foretolds. You need some ancestral vision, because those are cool. Um, that, like, it leaves you very little space for any kind of interactive card whatsoever. Like, our interactive cards in this deck are remands. And... You have serum vision and sleight of hand. How did you miss a land drop? That you have no you have no room for any sort of interaction. So you're just like hoping you're just doing things and being like, hey, hopefully you don't uh you can't deal with what I'm doing. Nope, not good hate cards, just didn't really care to mulligan, that's all. I mean, a one-lander is actually fine in this deck. 
because you get to cycle three different cards before you get to see another land, right? Like, I mean, it's completely reasonable to keep a one lander. Sunken Ruins being the land is pretty rough, though. Oh my, come on, dude. I mean, can I say the same about them? They also kept a one lander. <laughs> I can't <don't> understand. <laughs> Why would you say that? Oh, they went to five. Okay, sure. Didn't even notice they mulliganed. Um, Hey, look at that. Let's go a searching. If we hit a land next turn, we can actually go as foretold, which is kind of cool, but I assume they have a counter spell. So the problem with this deck, it feels like is every combo deck in modern is just doing a combo that's either stronger than like we're doing a combo and then we, it takes us an extra turn to actually attack or win. And sometimes you don't actually have enough damage. Like last game we had three four fours, uh, which would not have killed them. So it gives them multiple turns. And uh, the decks we've played against, which were like uh, Scape Shift just kills us in one turn. Storm kills you in one turn. The Mirror Match, which ended up killing us in one turn because they just threw more sideboard hate than we had. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what was our first? What was the other match? There was one more match, right? Oh, Death, uh, Death Shadow. Like, they're just hard casting bigger guys than we're cycling. Like, we're cycling five fives for, for one mana. They're just playing five sixes for one mana, so. This is a lot of rituals. Empty the Warrens. Yep. Oh, of course they had another gift sun given. Hell of a mold of five, I'll tell you that. Oh, Frontier is terrible. <laughs> Frontier is just a miserable format.
Yeah, don't even care anymore. You got it. Like, they just get to go gifts ungiven, get back something. It doesn't matter. I don't care. All right, cool. And on that note, I think we're done. I don't care about the last win. Uh, I'm having less fun than I expected I would be with this deck. It just doesn't do anything. Um... Yeah. All right. Anyway, if you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Feel free to hit the like or subscribe button or hit the unlike the dislike button. That is fine as well. And uh, we'll see you next time.